And then if you, and that was set off by triggers. So you see there, that's a, that's a trigger with a piece of string between it. So as you walk, you end up with the lights come on as I walk along. And then if you go further, that this is the pet cafe. So you see um, they've got the dogs tethered. Um, and then inside here, they've got uh, the elderly people in seeing the dogs. And they've even named the dogs, Ray Bramble, Shep, um, and so on. So um, that world's that world, that, that, that's the stuff that when I gave the, when I gave the children that same world that I said, look, here's tiny Toronto, go solve this problem. That's what they did with it, um, and the workings behind that and the study behind that was incredible. So back to my slides, we will. Um, so I know yours isn't ready yet, but hopefully in just one hour, that's giving you a taste of a how problem-based learning can actually be a really valuable way of teaching in the first place. If you haven't already tried it, great. If you have already tried it, stick with it. Um, and I'll teach, tell you about the course in just a second. And secondly, how Minecraft can be used as an evaluation uh, modeling, uh, a modeling tool, an experimentation tool for exactly that. You want your kids to play with electrics without getting killed? Do it with redstone. You want your kids to be able to build a dam without falling, dying, and drowning? Do it in Minecraft, and so on, so on. Um, so, um, yeah, you get the idea. I'm just going to skip to that one. So